No, she wasn't. Wait, what did she have surgery for? Because she wanted this perfect figure. Oh, plastic surgery. you saying oh, cosmetic Storm, surgery. Stormy is a, is, is a surgically enhanced woman? Storm, Stormy is a few times surgically enhanced woman. Are you God, joking? Uh, wait, wait, oh, she's a, she's a real coach? Why is she, why she dressed like a bird? She's just a coach. She's not real. Wait a minute. What? So this body in your mind is not real. It's not in my mind. I've watched her. Wait, wait. She's just like a street walker. Wait, is she like? Wait, is she a life she coach? Did, when she touched wait, wait. up all she, the procedures wait, she's a life coach? for the second or third time, she is. She's a life coach. Like for like for she heads. like like what's her background? Ooh, scammer, queen scammer. Oh. <laughs> She, she used to be on a show. I believe it was dance. It was a dance competition show that she started on one of those networks on. But she's she's now heading a you have to turn that light on for me, level please. marketing. A uh, pyramid scheme. Basically, <laughs> yes. She, she's at the top of it. And she's going to city to city holding seminars. The room you is filled the with the light in the back? all the nurses and anyone with a following. You know, if you're capable of having your friends. Lower it a little bit for me. The light is too bright. Right. <laughs> Yeah. We have a guest, y'all. And she was before I went live. This is what this is who we were talking about. And this fine young man here referred to her as a streetwalker. He looked at he looked at this woman here. See, to me, her body looks doesn't look like. Uh, a person working a certain lifestyle can have that no, body. No, no, wait, wait, we got back up. We got back. According up. to okay, we can back up. But let me just say, according yeah. to LJ, this woman is is modified. She's um she's uh, a surgically enhanced woman. A few times, and you said that she promotes this, like she'll like uh, go live, like she'll advertise what is going on with her. She'll show, she won't, I wouldn't say she promotes plastic surgery, but she documented her journey. The healing, going down there to touch up what was already done, to, mm. you know, re-sculpture. You know, I think she took a little bit of the butt out. Really? <laughs> yeah. She took a little bit of the booty out. Because yeah. it looks, honestly, I got to tell you, the booty looks perfect. <laughs> I don't think any. Yeah. She, her she, body to me looks like a woman her age. She doesn't have a six pack, but yet she has the lines on the side. She has that, and yeah. she, her breasts look like she might have got them lifted, or maybe it's some breast augmentation. But I don't look at her. It's just, I don't see the plasticness. I see that outfit that she's wearing could be um, Stepford Wives 2.0, <laughs> but. I, uh, Ulrich, he wanted to correct the whole when he said she looked like a streetwalker. Tell me what you wanted. Uh, you did say streetwalker. No, so no. So first, uh, we were talking about how this person. Uh, what's the, what's the person's name? Storm. Stormy. 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 Coach, Coach Storm. Stormy. Coach Storm. This that this person was a a life coach and a life coach that I guess she shows off. Uh, all her like nice watches and her nice houses and she promotes his i guess it, 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 it i surmise from what lj was telling me that she she would mo she's motivational and she says if you try hard you can get these nice things is that right. fair yeah. is that what she does yeah, yeah. she's promoting right. lifestyle she's, all right. she's promoting she's lifestyle, lifestyle. Promoting. all right so from from that from then i see her she comes in the uh uh, at, at first she's in a just kind of I guess normal normal kind of outfit an, an outfit that an adult would wear kind of something that I guess a real estate agent would wear like the pants was well little, little, you know it, it showed off her figure but you know it wasn't crazy and then the next shot she's in the refrigerator in front of the refrigerator and some little like skirt that's insane right like she's in the skirt that it just looks it, it, I'm not you know I don't got an issue with the people dressed for escape but i thought this person was a life coach and she popped up out of nowhere 
and the comment I made mm -hmm. that she was the comment I made that she would look like Streetwalker. If you see, if you show the per, her there, if anybody sees her and just just get the first thing you associate this picture with, but oh, she, she that, 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 that's what it, it would be. Yeah, I was thinking Stafford wife three point oh. Not a, that's not a Stafford, a Stafford wife wouldn't dress like that. But in that a, environment, you, in that, that Stafford kitchen. Stafford wife would dress like somebody could come over and it would be appropriate. Could somebody come over with her dress like that? Oh yes. That's come on. That's out of control. Oh wait, can we show the if people? LJ, if LJ wanted to dress like that and make me a a, a a sandwich. Yeah, that's make you a sandwich. I'm talking about what you have. And, guess then, and then I get a call and I hear that you, Daniel B, and the doc are on their way. Yeah. Right, come on, come on. Yo, first, yo, her, yo, come on. Wait, wait, and first, wait, can, can start again? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, start from the beginning. Yo, her, 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 her butt is out. It's Every time she twirls, it's like a seed. She can't, she's going to bring attention to herself every time she moves. All right, okay. that's inappropriate. Okay, <laughs> that's the, okay. That's the, that's the I would say this. I would say this. Anyway. I would be okay with LJ making me that sandwich in that outfit i would prefer barefooted though i don't need the shoes i love to see a woman in the kitchen barefooted making me a sandwich it's just something about I didn't even that notice the shoes that are such just a spectacle. so such a turn on for me and um if my boys were coming over i would tell her um no nah, you're fine stay like that because you know why all she's gonna do is when we come over and we hang out, she's gonna make sure that we're taken care of. And that to me is a great outfit for that too. Like what you're wearing now, it's it's just as good, but I don't have a problem with um a woman. Let me just move this one little Okay. I don't have a problem with a woman um being that sexy and 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 being in the home environment that's sexy for me because every guy that out that let me just say this to you like let me say this to you the doc has come to my home and daniel b has come to my home several people come to my home and whenever someone has come to our home we have lj will then bring out fruit she'll bring out drinks she would um offer us something to eat and then usually she's gone i don't even see her for another hour or two so in this scenario she wouldn't necessarily be hanging with us you know she would be the girl that's sitting on the couch and all of us are sitting there playing that card game about humanity what's the card game called cards uh, against humanity what cards against humanity yeah we wouldn't we wouldn't be playing cards against humanity with her dress like that yeah but first yeah but the fact that if if you think that but here's the, the thing oh, we're not going to be playing cards versus humanity anyway we're yeah. going to go out to the back and we're going to go on the balcony and we're going to smoke a cigar yeah yeah but you just said for but for a short period of time if it's not okay if if it's not okay for her to stay there long enough for, to play cards against humanity then it's not okay to wear when you got guests around but we if don't, really, we don't play that, cards of humanity we will we, we might get a that, space the game, game doesn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> in other words I didn't know that she was uh, modified in any drastic ways. I think she, I think she looks great. I personally don't like the tattoos. And when you said streetwalker, I was thinking it has to be the tattoos. She, was a stripper too, so. she oh, used wow. to be a stripper. She used to be a stripper, yeah. In her, you know, her 20s. Oh, no way. In her 20s. Mm -hmm. She was a stripper in her 20s and now she's an influencer that has women believing that if they buy this thing for me, then you can then sell it to all your friends and then they will then sell it to all their family and three friends, friends and then, and then your three, three, yeah. three friends. and then that is how you're going to get on this yacht like me and this is the wow promotion 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 eh. is it promotion or is it the human candy cleanse is it advertising you see because the argument will be made here that is it the weak-minded or is it a niche or is it truly advertisements well or, you know i'm i like to watch you know people like her who is able to persuade a crowd 
the audience that she's talking to in each city is local business owners. They are other nurses. These are all, women. These are all women. All yes. women. Are they are they black women? Black black american or black caribbean both. or african it's a mixture of both mm. you know it's um a tiny sprinkle of caucasian and i haven't really seen any latin and one of her her main road dog is a latin woman a uh, okay. road dog yeah What's that? she's uh we she have to explain road dog to Ulrich. Right. That's <laughs> right this no <laughs> she she uh she when she when she decided to really take the world by storm, pardon the pun, which she's doing, her name uh, is Thor. Uh, <laughs> wow, you seem to be a, a bit of a fan of hers. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. She could be. I, I tell you that all the time. I'm I'm truly intrigued how she's able to convince these women of this lifestyle that they're. You know, so, so, so you're intrigued in, in what way? Like you're intrigued by her selling ability. I'm intrigued <laughs> by her gift of the guy. Right, that's right. What I, that's what intrigues Because me. let me tell you, the times where I have listened to her is because of you. And it doesn't feel forced. Like when you had me watch Kendra, half the time I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> oh, I don't want to uh, watch she, this yeah, crap. She's terrible. Kendra is like, the, it's, a, it's a nightmare no, for me. No. Yeah. And I like Kendra. I just don't, you know, we're not going to get into that. But Kendra's so, so, life in, but in this a, woman talk, here, she's such a dead interview. This <laughs> woman sounds like a man talking. Like she's like a motivational, yes. get your heart rate going. But oh, I, but do you feel any badness or any no, empathy I for the like victims? No, I feel like, you know, I I see it as scamish, you know. Right. And because all these people, you know, they 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 pull you in with these, you know, heart let's say um heart tugging stories and you know they relate to you on so many levels and they even it almost feels like church at times it's like right. they're bringing you all in as community and they are scamming you taking your money in the process you know so you don't you feel, feel bad for about them. it no i don't feel so bad for so them. let me ask this question of Ulrich right now <laughs> and you of course why the hell do we feel bad and have Diddy's victims? How do, how is it that it's okay for this woman? It's obviously a scam. It's obviously a pyramid scheme. Everybody knows this is what it is. Yeah. And, and and these are just adults making yeah. bad decisions and they're feeling good about it. So yeah. why the hell are we mad about what Diddy's doing at a freak-off party and now having secret indictments and people are now hitting the stand anonymously talking about they survived a freaking party aren't those adults too shouldn't we be like didn't you have fun at that seminar where where, where, where this chick convinced y'all to, to to buy all this product that nobody is gonna sell but you and only to your friends oh, i thought that the people thought the diddy thing was hilarious i didn't know that people were outraged at diddy like angry about like they felt bad for his victims i thought Yo, they, dude they probably just diddy like, right but, now there's a that people are going to the they're going to the grand jury and they're telling their story about surviving a diddy freaking party yeah but i'm thinking but is yeah but are people upset at diddy for that because because again yes people, people aren't afraid people people aren't as sympathetic if men are getting you know uh a gap a, no no Iraq, this is I, well, I don't know if this is a man or a woman epard yeah there we go yeah no, yeah if was. anybody's getting epard just you know yeah, but I'm saying Probably. all the. I'm Probably. saying I think there's not. A, I don't think there's a lot of anger or outrage going oh, towards no. Diddy because. Yo, dude, you're dude, get uninformed. You're uninformed. Are waiting for Diddy to be handcuffed and thrown in the back of that cop car. And Yo, and this is what they did in the time of the shooting. Celebrating his demise. Yes, when Shine and Diddy uh, did that yeah. shooting, they have that um, T T K Kirkland. Oh, wait, wait. The, yeah. I th I think all right. I, if they're celebrating his demise, yes. I, that's not because of I, I, not because of anything he's doing. Not because of the parties. I think maybe because of the stuff he did in the past. But I, I, th I don't think anybody what cares stuff he about. He did in the past. Uh, he did the the he allegedly yeah, did, did the he thing. Off. Look, you forgot uh, again. He, he well he allegedly had uh, Puffy killed. 
You he mean legit, big, he was like a big no? He legit had uh, not puffy. Uh, he legit had uh, pot killed. Two pot killed. Yeah, he legit had two oh, pot killed. I forgot you have an allegiance to two pot. No, I have no allegiance to anything. No, but he had. I thought he, a lot of negativity, hot, negativity know, towards Diddy had to do theory. with like him, him like <laughs> uh, f, uh, fudging over his artists. You know, and stuff like that, and I, I, I thought even the Cassie thing wasn't that. I, I didn't think that was a big deal. Honestly, respectfully, you can't but teach man, people I, business. You can't man. teach people business. Yeah. If I call somebody up and say, "Listen, I need an editor. Can you edit these videos I have? I have over 200 videos of the premium black news, and I want to put out minimum of 100 shorts." And a person agrees to the payment. They are not. I am not supposed to teach them business about how much this should go. We're supposed to agree on a price and be good with that. These people had opportunities to take these contracts to attorneys and tell these attorneys like, yo, this is what I'm offering. And the attorney would say, you are a fool if hey, you what sign kind of, this. What contracts you talking about? Music contract. You're saying Diddy jerk people for their money. Adults. He didn't pay people what they were worth. Yeah, but no, but you can strong arm somebody with the contract easily. You can say the the deal is contingent on you signing the contract within a few hours or something like that. You don't have time to get to a lot. You can, then you they can should know they're arm. getting jerked. You can Just the way Stormy's, yeah, if you don't, the yeah, Stormy's you, victims know they're getting jerked. If it's either sign this jerked. contract or go back to this life that I probably hated, which made me try so hard to try to get this contract, then they're probably going to go for that, even though and look for the consequences after. And that's why these stories keep on, aren't these like record music industry stories like recurrent where they would yes. sign bad contracts right. so it's not so no one ever learns your lesson so it's not like they don't. Was. so all right so that is they don't so I, I, so that so people are going to continue to get bad at it and you know people can probably still be holding it at over a diddy all i'm saying is that i don't know that i didn't even think that the the diddy thing i thought served as a, a form of comedy that Diddy was that you can't go to a Diddy party. I thought that's how the, the You thought common, this was a meme. Yeah, not not, 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 not so prison. much as not so much as like how R. Kelly was to like the the women. Like he is this predator. Right. I Diddy well, I thought no, the Diddy one, I think compared to the Diddy thing is more innocuous or Diddy thing is more is less severe. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm, well my ear is not that down. What what streets. say you, LJ? Yeah. Steve Ladner says, I don't think he has done anything but make money and evil people are trying to rob him. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah. the fan. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, Steve Ladner. Evil people wait, wait. are trying to rob him. Steve Ladner, I give, I, all right, I think his, I do think his victims, his victims were kind of, um, what's it, were complicit in his actions. I think they, they had to, it was a, uh, uh, What's that thing called? Something for something. I forgot what, the, what, what I forgot what it's called. Something for something. Something for something. Leads to nothing. No, it's I called a thing. A quid pro quo. Quid, a quid pro, pro quo. quo. Okay. I, so I think there was a thing. Like, all right, I get to, I get to, I get to, I get to boop your butt, and you have to just be quiet for a while. I know. Wait, wait, to, wait. I know how you to say saying this is par for court. Par for the course. I, I think I so I'm I'm agreeing to an extent with Stephen Ladner and saying that I, I I do think a lot of the 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 things that are coming out were you know it, it, there was some kind of understanding. I don't think people liked it when it was happening all the time, but I think there was some kind of mutual agreement that they were going to be you know quiet about it. I think there was some kind, of, but then that was the, the the new law that came out. That said, there was a, a little statue of something like that. You had until I, I don't even know what the oh, law yeah, was. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot so the I, law as so well, that, but that it was part, a timeline they had. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, but that's you, part. Of, but that's part. Of, so you can oh you can uh, argue civilly. You can argue something. You can so you can sue these people. Right. So these rich people. So why not sue them? Why not say something? Mm -hmm. So I so I agree with Stephen Ladner that there's a possibility that he didn't. He is innocent in some uh, way, but I didn't know public opinion. I'm still shocked. I didn't know public opinion was that bad about Diddy. I thought people thought it was hilarious. Like, ha, 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 Diddy, I knew you was zesty. <laughs> Diddy. No, that's why he was dead. So all stupid. Don't no. sign a contract with reading the fine print. It's this mm -hmm. bull crap that yeah, I would hear. Contra sometimes contracts are hard to interpret, though. Sometimes you need, That's you why you need an attorney. Need an attorney to read the read contract. Me sometimes. Every time. Yeah. Every single time, you're supposed to pay an attorney and say, what do you think about this? And all this... Yeah. You need an attorney that's in your favor. 
because you know these people there is an attorney there but the attorney yeah, could yeah, be yeah. for you know whoever created the contract right so you right. Know, and they can, and they can say what something you can say what something means kind of but there can be something that you may not understand that it's going to affect down the road I mean. that you're somebody oh. with your own interest yeah somebody yeah. with your own interest i don't even know who would even let somebody who's out there attorney read a contract for that's crazy this no. Oh, but if you're strong, oh yeah, but I, the, but actually, no, I agree, the, uh, wait, that was the point I was making, wait, that was the point, wait, you made me forget that the point I was making was that the artists could get stronger after the contracts with these, because they got no choice, they got time to read, you got until this time to, yeah. no, you do have a choice, you can say no, and no, not be in famous, your, in your head, and you can say no and not oh, be yeah, famous yeah, yeah. and older record but company in their head, massive not, amounts of money with massive in amounts head, of interest. In their head, they're going to go to bed thinking, why didn't I do this? <laughs> why didn't I do this? I could have done this. I could, well, something could have happened. Getting, you know, poverty strike stricken people, you know. Yeah, but they don't know that at the time. If mom's there. Baby, it has nothing to do with being right. rich people sign bad contracts. That's people true. want <laughs> the fame. They're going to, they're going, it's like this, man. You have an opportunity to make me tons of money. I'm the record company. You, I'm going to give you, I'm going to then turn you super, super famous. Okay? You're not going to make a lot of money, but you're going to be super, super famous. Are you ready? And if this album does well, your second album, you even make more money. But really, we're just trying to get you to pay us back all the money we're going to spend to make you famous. Are you with that? And this contract right here, if you take it to an attorney, he's going to tell you that, sir, you're getting jerked. I'm letting you know you're getting jerked. But as far as to switch it, like people know that they have to be in these sexual situations and all that, that right there, I'm not falling for none of that. You went to that party, you are an adult. If you took it up the ass, <laughs> yeah, that's my point. You're an but adult. That's, that's, yeah, I agree. You're an with, adult. Yeah, we agreed. We agree with that. You're an yeah. adult. I don't want to hear. I felt so much pressure. I just had. Yeah. I'm just so sick of this Diddy. They are coming after this man. And let me tell you this: this ain't the first time. When he had that shooting in New York, T.K. Kirkland, the comedian, said while he was in Rikers Island, they took him out of a Rikers Island cell, brought him to the club where the shooting happened and was trying to tell him, okay, this is what happened. You, If you were standing here, this is what you would have saw. And if you were standing there, this is what you would have saw. And this was the whole fucking plan to bring him down. And TK Kirkland just ate the, the sandwiches and the drinks that they were giving him. He was happy to be outside. And then he said, nah, I don't remember none of that. That didn't happen. They put him back in the cell. But these district attorneys are willing to do anything and almost you have no idea the power these people have and this is what they were trying to do to him back in the day now you have like look at the district attorneys that are going against presidents and all that kind of stuff they have so much power and that's why i always say don't mess with the district attorney and <laughs> they are now after him and holding secret indictments for people that survived, grown-ups, adults that were partying, getting high, having sex, uh, uh, do just debauchery. They were in, uh, uh, what's that place that, that got destroyed where Delilah looked back and she turned into stone? That's this is uh, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. Gomorrah. You people know what Sodom and Gomorrah is. When you walk through those curtains, I'm sure it has a whole nother smell. I'm sure, whoa. Who it's, wants to know if you're taking up for Diddy? I'm yeah, not taking up. That's, I'm what, not, that's, I'm not yeah, that's what I'm wondering I'm actually taking, too. I'm not taking up for anyone. <laughs> I'm I just right know too. what I, I'm not taking up for anyone, but I am pointing out what a rare what railroad it looks like. What 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 when they're trying to get you and what they do to you and who is they? That is taking up for Diddy. That's exactly. It's the power <laughs> struck. No, if it wasn't Diddy and it was somebody else, I'd be doing the same thing. Because let me just say this to you. I am curious as to how the hell you're gonna say you survived a freak off party you one of the what one of those men that was smashing uh, um what's the chick who got all the money in the beginning of this the girlfriend cassidy you telling me there's a man in the world that would not yeah but they, they give but they, anything to sleep with that yeah, woman at that moved, time yeah but they moved the goalpost so you can say you can come you can be having you can be in the middle of sex and say i'm uncomfortable say i'm uncomfortable they don't stop immediately 
you you get an e e e e, 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 e rapid charge. I can't even I can't even wrap my head. Like a stat, like yeah, I know what you're you you get a char so uh, so even so get an e pod charge. So, for that. so even the logic of going to a freaking party, it, it makes sense that you can go to you go to a freaking party. You should expect some freaky stuff's gonna happen. You do. This but chick now, spent even, ten years with this but dude. But there's that logic doesn't even happen. A girl could go to a a a, 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 a house party. Say I want to uh, look at freaking the Kobe girl. The Kobe girl got taken seriously for a long time. The Kobe girl had like had they found out she had sex with like a, a bunch of men like three that men same that night. Men. Something, something ridiculous. But she has the right to say no. Yeah, but, yeah, but what I'm saying, they even took that seriously. So they always taken even things like that seriously. Whether you're a freaking party, that that don't even matter. You can be, I bet, in the middle of sex, have a video saying, I wanted to have sex. It's like that Dave Chappelle skit mm, where they talk about. I don't remember. And, 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 like, that, that's a lot to explain. <laughs> Somebody got. It, anyway, it said how obvious it could be. Somebody could. In, in order. Oh, R. Kelly. What would make it okay to piss on somebody? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? I would need the ID. I would need. Oh, what would you need as an R. Kelly fan? What would What would you need to to see to see that R. Kelly's guilty? I would need him pissing. I need his ID. I need this. I need that. But what I'm saying is, you know that 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 burden. Uh, so you, somebody needed that burden of evidence just to prove, just to say that R. Kelly is guilty. They need that burden of evidence. That does not exist in the legal justice system when it comes to anything that comes to sex crimes in any way. So the fact that Diddy did, did anything, that Diddy can snip somebody's butt, this person is it has a some kind of legal liability or some possibility. Right. So it don't even it don't even matter. Eddie. It, 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 uh, uh, um, that's you see, let, let, me, let, me also, let me say this. Let's let me be less. This. Maybe we should be less freaky. We yeah. should be less freaky. Maybe. I got. Well, I got to tone it down. <laughs> that is sad. Anyway, go ahead. All you have to do is get a wife and be like me. I tone it all the way down. Yeah, sure. I can't even put my wife through none of the stuff I can put another person through. See? It's there just. It just. It does. It just feels wrong. You know. <laughs> it just feels mm -hmm. wrong. Um. So here's the thing. Uh. I'm not necessarily defending Diddy. I'm a, I'm defending the idea that these people survived something that they didn't agree to. Yeah. You know, and it all goes back to Stormy. They're surviving. They know they're not going to make any money. They're going to give her thousands of their dollars. And the <laughs> same thing happened after we talked about Stormy. We talked about... Um, who was Biden the other? give it to your friends. <laughs> Biden and give it to your friends, uh, right? Um, <laughs> you know, I was just, I, I was just correlating all this stuff about Diddy and how these are adults and that I'm kind of sick of these uh, adults acting like they were some sort of victims and that's what bothers me. So it just happens to be Diddy right now. It'll be somebody else because when they want you, they're gonna get you and that district attorney has all the power. Let me salute to the district attorneys. I want no smoke with you. I love you. Even Fanny? <laughs> Even Fanny, because they would not take. Look, Fanny, they did not take her job. Well, Fanny, she's being investigated right now by the DOJ. So, yeah. yeah, she's being investigated. Fanny's still rolling over in the middle of the night. <laughs> you mean she's losing sleep? Yeah. You know that's okay. Yeah. I lost a little sleep last night too. We're mm. all gonna be all right. Fanny's yeah. gonna be fine. District attorneys have massive power. They're not gonna. They ain't gonna stop their flow. Um. What else is going on in the week other than this Diddy debacle? Oh! OJ Simpson is out of here. Oh, wait, what kind of, what, this is supposed to be somber. What kind of, kind of, what is this? You think OJ Simpson wants somber from people? Um, I, 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 this should be somber. Today, you know, yet, was it yesterday? Yesterday. Uh, yet, Allegedly. Yes, we yes, weren't there. Yes, yesterday, yesterday. Uh, 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 a, a great man lost his life. A, a man, man, a man who has achieved great things throughout his life. A man who was acquitted of a crime. A man who is not guilty in the eyes of the justice system. A man, a man who may have guilt, who may be guilty in real life, but not guilty in the justice system. So you know, uh, 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 therefore, I think, and the man who's provided such entertainment from top down, I, from I, I don't know, from um, movies. Uh, t television. I mean, the, the the so many things that entertain. Even that that video, that 2006 video, 
that came out that was really controversial that said what would what OJ would have done if he did actually kill Nicole Simpson? <laughs> did he how he would have done it? That I think that was what, that was one of the funniest videos I ever seen. Yo, he produced <laughs> it. That. If I, that what I see, I think he produced first of all, that. When I, for, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I think whoever did it, even if it was OJ or his son, if it's frame, it was too perfect that OJ. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care who did. It. I'm not that kind of person. But mm -hmm. if it, but. I, 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 um, Johnny <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Johnny Conkren all day. But the but the the, the greatest. The, Can I have a bottle of water, please, man? Yeah. The greatest trolling I've ever seen in my life was that 2006 oh. video. <laughs> that that was that was that, that was the that was historic. Like, I guess my mouth sometimes. But that was historic kind of trolling. My point my my point is I I I don't understand why. In general, we're, we're supposed to have opinions on people's deaths or not. When when people go or not, how we're supposed to feel or not. I will, I I have to say genuinely, I, I I never ever care about celebrity deaths, but I actually did. I was like, oh shoot, OJ. I, I felt can, something. I can usually care less. I can usually uh, absolutely uh, I care. I started to feel bad for the guy actually at the end. You felt bad for him on during his like when you found out he died. How, how lonely his life was afterwards. Because first of all, he was he was he was he was he was, he was, he was, he was, he was OJ lonely. No, but lonely. Well, you know what I mean. Lonely in real life. Lonely. Girl. He knows people are not connecting with him. Even the ones who are hanging out with him are not. Whoa, connecting sir. OJ level. was surrounded by his whole family. You're not missing. Lonely all is his different. Kids. Lonely is different. You can be around alone with a lot of people and be lonely. It's different. OJ was still smashing 27-year-old women. missing the point. He was still sad. He was still going crazy off drugs. He was still depressed. He was still committing robberies. He was still... He was still... A, all right. No, 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 no. You talking... Let's talk about post-lap prison. I'm, the, the point I make... No, no, no. Post-prison. First, I'm, I, I need to make a point about OJ. This, that I, I'm not talking about... I, I, I don't... When did OJ come home? Check that. Yeah. I don't... Yeah, you know. I, 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 that, it's, I'm not even necessarily... Uh, uh, Oh, I actually, know, you know, I I didn't even realize how much I liked those chips until he's gone. I, actually I see did. that. Okay, I I'm shocked, but I, I he was he was you know. Well, today is moment of silence day. Would well, you like to have a moment no, of silence for OJ? I Simpson? think we should. Let's have a moment Let's of silence. Moment for OJ of silence. Simpson. All right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, ready, set, go. I don't know how long a moment is. That was only four seconds. But I, I don't know. I thought a moment is a few seconds. I don't know how long a moment All right. is. Let's, All right. Let, let's give him at least 10 seconds. All right. Let's give him oh. 10 seconds. Go. 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 10 seconds. All right. A moment of silence for OJ Simpson just happened. That's probably our children calling. And then mom needs to tell them, figure it out. But, you know, and uh, I, I don't, I, I think OJ ultimately, you know, whether he committed the murder is up to your conjecture. I don't know. What, did, what, what years were these murders? It was like 94? 90, uh, 93? 92? Yeah, yeah, because it was during uh, one of the, uh, it was during one finals. That he was like trying to escape, and that was the, and it was the the next one. Yeah, it was ninety four. I was like, it doesn't matter. All right, All right but the, the uh, what I was trying to say about OJ's um, dang it, now I forgot. To, 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 to be off. What was that? Yeah, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> those, that, those were our kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These kids like, yeah, figure it out. We doing a pod. But, but, Even though they didn't know mom was gonna be in this no, pod, they didn't. so that's what the issue is. Um, it's, she's a surprise. <laughs> oh, but okay. let me say this to you, man. O.J. Simpson went to prison, right, for trying to get his stuff back, and I say stuff because I don't want to say back. And O.J. Simpson went to prison for that. By the way, O.J. Simpson ran the whole prison. He was Mr. Simpson, shaking his hands. Didn't have to go nowhere with handcuffs. Walked around, he was the man. Flat screen TV in the room, all that lounge chair, all that kind of, went out and smoked cigars, all that kind of stuff. In prison, ran the joint, okay? Comes home, still keeps his pension, and is smashing women in their 20s. October 1st, 2017. 2017, 2018, 2019. 2020, it's four, five, six, seven years ago he came home. 
You and he died with all his children. Yeah, anyway, so you're saying I shouldn't feel bad for OJ? I don't think anyone should feel bad for anyone. I, yeah, but I want so, you. To, I like the fact that you're no, showing an emotion. No, I empathize. You're showing with emotion. Oh, oh, yeah, you're yeah. grown. It has nothing you're to grown. do with. Yeah, it's not even about the. But the, the OJ essentially, and uh, not to, by his own doing, was a. Uh, oh, th now, I, this is not to say whether or not he committed the murder, but I, this is just, just to speak specifically about how he's, he was used by the justice system. OJ was a patsy used to kind of destro destroy or ruin or uh, turn the criminal justice system into a kangaroo court. Because a lot of conjecture, OJ became, you know, the essential crime of the century. And media, media, which was essentially a kangaroo court of public opinion, Media worked in order to sway the the the, the decision ultimately, to to sway the because because again I'm but not Mark saying Mark Farman that, really destroyed that case the the the, 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 the officer. How long the trial was? I would say uh, two weeks. I don't know. Well, the, 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 but 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 the, the it was a long it was it was a long I'll wait. Let her tell us. Long, long she knows. Oh, no, uh, yeah, I the first thing that comes to mind was seven months. I remember seven months. Whoa. Because he had a long trial before you know the YSL trial began. <laughs> They're gonna take the. Uh, the They're gonna award. take the mantle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I I don't know the the the, the way OJ has been kind of uh, used and the kind of months OJ trial span <laughs> 11 <laughs> months 11 months yeah mm -hmm. did you see the Kardashian lawyer his face <laughs> when he got acquitted he was like what <laughs> like visibly sh could not believe they acquitted this man <laughs> and I think it's Mark Furman because here we here we have a guy. Oh, can I give you my uh, thing with O.J. Simpson? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold any punches <laughs> here. O.J. Simpson murdered these two people, okay? And the officer that was there knew that he got away with the murder and did everything he could to set him up for the murder, and he messed up. Dude, you know? I'm not even arguing that whether yeah. or not he's innocent or murder. Right, I'm right, arguing right, it right. was a, as a human yeah. being. I only say that because O.J. Simpson, <laughs> before he, before the murder, he was taking these. Um, before he did, he did a movie, and in this movie, they were showing him how to decapitate someone's head with oh. a knife, and both his wife and um, <laughs> did I say Mark Furman was the cop, right? Yeah. And what was the guy? Not Cato. Cato was the the. Oh. The, that server's name. What was the guy's <laughs> name that she was messing with? And she and she had the dude driving his Ferrari. He all over Hollywood in OJ's Ferrari. You know, he um Talking about Cato Kayla. No, Cato was the, the was the he lived in the guest house. Cato mm -hmm. lived in the guest house. It was Ron uh, Goldman. Ron Goldman. <laughs> so Ron Goldman and Nicole Kitman were both almost decapitated. No, Nicole Brown Simpson. Nicole yeah. Brown Simpson? Yeah, yeah. All, right, all right. What did I say? <laughs> Nicole Kidman. Ah, Nicole Kidman. I'm bugging. That's Alex Bo uh, Alec Bowen's wife. So what I'm saying is that um, he he did the same move that he was learning in the movie. Come on. That's like kind of like... And then uh, the thing with the shoes that they wouldn't let in, those very, very expensive shoes that he had, they would like start with a B. That they saw him wearing, they saw him wearing those shoes at different times. That was in the civil set. That didn't even come in in the criminal case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and the civil, the civil case, I remember just exposing that's what, that's so what, much really that's good what evidence. That's confirmed that, that, you know, he probably is guilty. Yeah, yeah, but the, the civil the fact, but, the, but again, I'm not arguing whether or not he's guilty, but the fact that OJ, I, I, I still was really sad about OJ dying. I don't know. I was really sad about it. I, 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 Not I, me. It. I wasn't sad. I was happy to see that. Oh, the last thing I saw of OJ, did you see where he talked to Mace? From, um, they have that sports show, Mace and Cameron. And Mace, uh, uh, they were asking OJ if they were interviewing him <laughs> via, like, Zoom. Steve Ladd is saying he really doubt that he ran anything in prison. <laughs> oh, no, he did. No, he did. OJ Simpson ran that prison. He said his skin color got him off because people were pissed off about the Rodney King case. And he was, he was, and he was used yeah. to do that. He was purposely used to do that. They're saying and, that media can sway up, can change even court cases. That's how OJ OJ was a vic was a, was the way OJ was supplanted. He was kind of a, a victim of how he was because there's a lot of people, a lot of famous athletes who murdered their wife. Nobody to the extent of OJ. 
Like, right. no, like nobody to the extent of OJ had that kind of notoriety. He is like a he is no more for murdering his wife than football. That is that is a little crazy. I don't know, and, and I, I think can murdering your a, wife. A, a, a I can name a bunch of people football. that bone and murder their wife that probably you still like uh, like I don't know. I just I, you know the whole thing you know I'm, I'm against Phil taking Spector, life. Phil Spector is still Phil Spector murdered the girl. He's still I I mean well I guess I don't know what he's associated with. I don't know. Who's he was this great producer. He created this wall of sound. He murdered a lady. He was this music genius as mm. far as rock and, rock and roll. He was he used the who Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys got like was in, influenced by. So, but he he killed a woman. But he he still has a legacy within music. I don't know any. I don't even know when OJ can be like take like. Th th I feel the same way about Chris Benoit. Chris Van was the guy, the wrestler who he killed his kid and he killed his wife, and oh. he, 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 uh, it was the big. That's when WWE changed. They took the, they started changing the wellness policy and stuff like that. But mm. I felt bad. But he was actually crazy. They saw his brain. Obviously, he had, the, he had the brain of a dementia patient. There was something wrong with him. But I don't take. I still think he deserves to be in the WWE Hall of Fame. I think Chris Benoit still deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I think still OJ still should still get whatever flowers for you. That those two don't even correlate. The crim the the courts decide whether or not you need to you know protect them or not. Public opinion is absolutely moot. It has nothing to. I, I, I don't think it has nothing to do with that. All right. Just in case anyone's wondering, I was just going to say <laughs> that that OJ told Mace. Let me ask you a question. I'm sorry. I'm Can sorry. you button that jacket, that suit jacket? Because you know, Mace is looking like he couldn't button his jacket. So I, I thought OJ still kept his sense of humor. That was only two weeks ago. So he's gone now. OJ's in the bosom of Abraham, and Ulrich felt a little bad for him. Found himself feeling sad. You know, Ulrich is an original man. He don't have no feelings. He eats his food. You know. Like a, like like a Those savage, you know. You know, yeah, yeah. He's not into none of that, you know, lovey dovey stuff. So, um, <laughs> such a funny sentence. And, OJ's in the bosom of Abraham. Yeah, he's in the I bosom like of that. Abraham. And so I got the actually from Star, from the Star Report, the bosom no, of Abraham. That's, Star, that's something that he's been saying for decades. Yeah. So, um, uh, OJ, any last words? LJ on OJ. R.I.P. to him. The glove don't fit. You must have quit. Yeah, mm. preach. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because you know, LJ. You know, she's mm. she's from a world where they don't they they say he's innocent just because he's black. Yes. No, I'm not on that tip. I'm not on that tip. He did it. He probably did it. I mean, he likely. I'm I'm more like if I had to bet whether that he did it or not, he did do it. Right. I still feel bad. He that feel feel bad about it. Yeah. Oh, I read it already. His skin color got him off. Right. Yeah, man. Well, the media's left usage of his skin color got him off, and <laughs> and his stardom, and, and, and yeah, forget about stardom. It, 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 forget he was he was was he a, a, the legendary running back movie star at this point. Uh OJ will so always be remembered nice. for. Well, let me say this: OJ yeah. will be remembered for the next twenty-five years. And then no one else will talk about it. Because in 25 years, I will be 75 years old. Maybe, maybe someone will talk about him, but it's over. Every No one knows who's yesterday. You ask anyone under 20 years old, when did 9-11 happen? They have no idea. Okay? And that's one of, that's to me, bigger than OJ. And I think his death is as big as Kobe's. <laughs> Kobe died as big. I as have no idea when Kobe MJ died. died. Oh, no, nah, that was pretty. That was that was right before the lockdown happened, though. So that's why it was. I have no that. idea. Only thing I know is that when Kobe died, I went right to the computer and bought his latest sneakers, and I have them in my storage. With the receipt. That was, that was it was bad. bought, and it was bought on the day, the day he died. Hey, also, we forgive Tyson. Tyson got convicted of rape. Uh, right, of right. Rape. We talked we, about this a couple of weeks ago. Come on. Now he, he said, but there's Tyson's no, com rape there's no doesn't, commonality. There's you're no saying commonality. that Tyson's rape doesn't define him, whereas the murder of OJ's wife 
does. I mean, and honestly, in the public eye, you know, it, 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 I can't, even, I can't, I keep forgetting what it is. Irapi is is as bad as murder. A murderer. Epar. Epar is looked as 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 bad as murder. If you're a murderer, probably you're probably looked at worse in society. Worse. If worse. You're, if with Epar. Epar. Yeah, then if you're a thing. So I don't even know, I don't understand logic here. So R.I.P. O.J. You need, I, us, I you need us to get over this thing <laughs> <Okay>. and, let's, <laughs> and let's talk about the day. Let's talk about the day. Uh, um, O.J. got the Heisman. Mm. Kardashian, I, I, didn't, I didn't actually watch him as a football player. <laughs> he was trending for yeah. that. That's right. No, and do you know that he's he's Chloe Kardashian's no, that, alleged no, father? That, no, that handsome man couldn't make that monster. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> You heard it here. Premium Black News, y'all. No. Where Ulrich the Educator he must be talking about pre throws at homonyms at women he doesn't know. No, I'm joking. I'm just playing. I like I like her. She's 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 fine. She's post pandemic. Pandemic. Chloe no. is totally different. Yeah. Okay. No, what? she's a cute you know, she actually is a cutie patootie. You know? Now? No, or before, before. before. Like Chloe was, way. she's always been attractive, is what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, not attractive. You see, she's just, you know, and she's just in her own way. <laughs> she, in her own way, she's, she's attractive. She's not unattractive. She's not unattractive. Okay. I know she's done a lot to change her because LJ no, showed she me a picture stupid. of her recently. No, I had no idea who this person was. I said, who's this? She morphed into another woman. <laughs> like a butterfly morphs? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 totally. No, 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 a but no, I, I'm saying butterfly. Oh, because, backwards! Yeah, she's right? going backwards. <laughs> no, um, oh. no, I don't know. She, yeah, she was at least in a, co co a cocoon for a good time. Wow. Yeah. Well, what's the body count on that chick? Uh, no, she only gets for basketball players, doesn't she? Right. Right. And how, how many did he freak offs did she survive? <laughs> she got she got double T Tristan Thompson. She got uh, what's it, Lamar Odom, who's one of the most underrated players ever. He's such a beast. Mm. And uh, I don't Prince know. Prince Montana. Oh, that guy. Oh, They're really? Dating, yeah. That's what a funny guy. Lamar Odom just walked mm. off of Adam Twenty One. Adam Twenty One oh, this show. Guy. Adam Twenty One asked him, "Would you be interested in sleeping with?" trans yeah and I he can't. just said okay great no, and just got up and walked guy. away yo i'm learning walked too off much the show. about this guy i started listening to this youtuber called point and shoot point and, point and shoot. shoot he's a he's a funny funny guy and he roasts this adam adam 22 guy constantly is he 21 or 22 Dude, no i he calls him adam the six adam 16 because of his, his allegations but that's but he just roasts him regularly. But mm. I thought he was funny. I just picked one video and I just have it. I've, I've watched so many videos of this guy. He's so he just he's just re relentless about it. Man. Uh, so that's his that's his YouTube he channel. Based that, on he wrote some that he wrote some that guy the the the, the gangster ten ninety Jake. Ten ninety Jake. Right, yeah, he, right. he wrote that guy. He's also, you know, he, I, I, Could yeah, we you call gotta, ten ninety Jake a gangster? Isn't can, can I don't, I'm Jake not, a I don't want, I don't, don't want to deal with those little those little good chuckleheads, man. He's a jailbird. Gangsters. I don't want to get towards him, but the but the Adam Twenty Two guy I keep on hearing. But the only time I knew about him is when uh, the porn star was getting with his wife. Right, right. But I didn't right. know anything. I don't know. But now I've been since I watched this point and shoot guy, just bombarded with this crazy like stuff. <laughs> now I know too much stuff about this show. I know this guy named Flacco. This, the, you know these, you know these people from this club. No, no, there's I don't just know all these sector. people from these little See? stupid shows. That's why I tell you that I would never for, sit and there's watch. There's something for everyone. No, it's frustrating. Yeah. Is that the no jumper squad? Yeah, I don't know. They're okay. just a bunch of such goofballs. They're just yeah. goofy goofs. Like They're the goofy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, the, 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 the. <laughs> you talking about Sharp? The guy I used yes. to like? Yes. You know, oh, man. Clowns, I, man. <laughs> I told that guy Sharp so hard, he never took the bait. Mm -hmm. I used to be like, yo, Sh yo Sharp, because you know, Sharp wound up getting married to the girlfriend. I, now I know some, but there's something now. There's a, Shop does a daily show? There's a, who's, AM show, our time. It's I don't want to be talking about this freaking guy, but it, it's there's so much stuff. I've, mm -hmm. I've been watching this YouTube guy so much, this particular I guy. I like Sharp. Though. I've liked yeah, Sharp for, since like too. the internet no, first so, you know, He was out when the internet first started. So mm -hmm. he, he fell in love with the damn, uh, somebody named Damn Homie, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, mean, I, I want it. The show is for people that like it because it. he is sitting in a room and all this crap. with like a table and a drink and a joint, and he's just like Wait, talking. Wait, you talking about sharp smokes? 
joints? Oh, it's probably cigarettes. No, right? no, no. Shop I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, smoke, I don't maybe I don't want it's like Virginia Slims, you know. <laughs> These guys seem like the sensitive types, man. Them. I don't want to start talking about them. Sharp is a smoker. Right, right. But I, I've told him yeah. so hard. I stopped once he yeah. got married. But before maybe. he got married, I was like, yo, when I see your chick, you know, I'm going to take her from you. Yeah, I used to just, oh, I would be trying. I'm like, I'm going to make her my sister wife. You know that, right? And, um, oh, I trolled him so person. hard. I trolled him for, but you know what I like about him? No matter how hard I trolled him, he never blocked me. What's up? And I'm talking directly about his wife. Like, he, he and that was his girlfriend at the time. Yeah, but how do you even start talking about these people? He wants to hear you talk civics. Elvis on Star Show. I thought you had remedies. You just talking about people like Star. It's enough of them black people. <laughs> Every black person don't want to hear gossip. So we're talking gossip? We're talking about OJ. Oh, no, but, what are you but, about? What, no, 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 that. Oh, this little digression with the, yeah, the yeah, yeah, Adam yeah. 22. Oh, I agree with you, Boom. I don't know. Does that. Lighter said Flacco is a skinny man. And he said he liked the show, though. <laughs> nah, I don't mess with that show. But that, but, that, but, Flacco's the, a skinny man. No, Boom said he likes this show, though. Despite the fact that he's tired of us just talking about yeah. what all the black people are talking about. <laughs> all right, oh, we're going to talk more about, about what this. all the other black people are talking about. And that is Fresh and Fit! <laughs> Fresh and segue. Fit! <laughs> Who got demonetized from YouTube, was able to bounce back, and I'm going to act like... Can I act like... What's his name for a second? Not the CEO, but... Can I act like, uh, what's his name? Fresh. No, fit. Because it's fresh CEO, Myron. Myron. <laughs> yeah. Act like Myron. And I'm going to act like Myron. And I'm going to look like who? Because we've been on YouTube longer than you guys been on YouTube. Is that because we've been you putting it on YouTube for longer than any of you guys. <laughs> and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to lap you guys. You don't even know what you're talking about. That girl was a 304. She's a 305, I just don't fall. And yeah, yeah, all right. I already told my boy. I told my boy. He messed up. Yeah, he messed up. Yeah, but so what? She's a 304. And you guys went out. I'll kill you. Girl. I'll uh, <sighs> Yo, are you sending <sighs> air on purpose? <sighs> <sighs> was that was that was that was that me? Was that well, That's Myron. Myron. All right. <laughs> all right. That's Myron. <laughs> <laughs> Myron, what are you doing on, on YouTube screaming, going crazy like that? I mean, like, yes, we're going to talk about Myron. Boom. We're going to talk about Fresh CEO effing that 304, and I ain't mad at him. It was, I know it was hard to pull out. I know it was. <laughs> you see, you know, you know, I told Wifey that when a woman has this talent of that grip and this is the bodybuilder chick this chick on instagram and all that stuff she her name is daisy chan she's a bodybuilder you can see in her arms and she still got collarbones but you can see the definition in her body so you know that she was doing them cankle routines as a part of her workout and let me tell you he couldn't get out of that she was telling him, please, whatever you do, you need to not be ejaculating in me, sir. And what did he do? He couldn't get out of that. The grip was too amazing. He's never experienced anything like that. Because those girls that he has on the show that he's smashing nonstop every week and he got a new chick, all those girls are, are OnlyFans girls. So they're, even if they're doing solo OnlyFans, they are taking things from the from the from the tip of the finger to the elbow this long <laughs> this is what they do in all these so yeah, routines I thought that other girl was a she's a, she, she, she's not a she's not an only fans girl yeah but she's, she's even a, worse she's, she's an she alleged is. prostitute and let me tell you something about prostitutes i've met many prostitutes and they can hold a grip better than a only fans girl could ever dream of because in the OnlyFans girl, she's gonna be sitting there by herself and every month, every six months, they gotta bring in bigger toys. And when you bring in those bigger toys, that's like basically you having another body. These are massive amounts of bodies. And I'm not saying that that woman, Daisy Chan, is not a, a, a prostitute or not a working girl. But let me tell you something about working girls. This is a $1,000 working girl. 
all day. Just from the way she looks, the way she acts, her world travelness. This is a thousand dollar kind of girl. And a lot of these girls don't even smash the dates. They're not even smashing the dates. They playing games. They watching the clock. They got attitudes. They're not friendly and happy. An $80 chick is going to take care of all your needs. The thousand dollar chick, you think she's going to take care of all your needs, but she knows you have more to risk than she does. So I say that to say this. What say you, LJ, on this guy, Fresh CEO and Daisy? You have been heavy on this. You've seen all her interviews. You've seen everything. You are my expert right now. I need you. Go. It's the same story. You know, it's... I don't know. It's the same story. It's nothing different. Just her posture. Her but posture is nice. That's it. She has great posture. You know, but it's the same... Come on. Give me some more. Give me some more. Do you believe her? Of course. <laughs> Do you believe course, them? Yes, I believe her. I believe him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you believe Myron believe calling her 304 him. prostitute that they vetted and then he kind of slipped up and said after the after she went public is when they found all this information out. So they never really did vet her. She's a girl who went to the Barbados to meet the guy's family. He's put her in an apartment for two weeks. And then she ends up pregnant after telling the dude on text and in in real life, stop ejaculating at me. Yeah, I think he's gotten away with it so many times. He just thought, you know, she was going to take the plan B like the other um, 98 girls really? did. Absolutely. You think 98 girls took okay, plan B? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just exaggerate. You have no proof <laughs> of this 98. I've, you know. I'm sure he, she said, you know, she knows of at least five, six girls that have tested, that have texted her. I'm sure Myron and Walter can sleep with a different girl every night if they choose. You know, I'm sure that they mm, have. Every night? Yeah. See, women are so, so interesting to me they, that they, they really the think that. They got the juice in my Yeah, but you, you said know, that about I say every uh -oh. week when they do their show. Uh -oh. I'm not saying every night. Every night is not easy. What are they, like 12 girls at that table? I mean, that's stupid. Sure Let me just say that. they pick of whichever one they want, except the queen maker. Oh, I've, I was just shocked at both of those claims. I didn't think it was, like, I don't think they were We're not going to talk like about that. the queen maker. <laughs> I oh, know. I'm not sure. I didn't even know who that is. <laughs> what? Say that again? I don't know who that is, but I, I was but, shocked at, wait, that, hold at up, both okay. of your claims. I was shocked at both of your claims that they, they can get either a girl a day or a girl a week. I didn't think, like, I didn't think the girls that appear on their show, I think they use them. I don't think they I think they can be they can use Myron and Walter without having to give anything up in return honestly. right I think they go right. on the show they just go right off I don't think I I'd be shocked if they were actually smashing them like that I think maybe right. early, towards earlier maybe there was a chance that some they were getting somewhat but now they kind of it would kind of be like a well let me just say these guys are straight combos these yeah. are straight. Myron is great because he's just like pearly things. He studied the whole entire, all the all the jargon. He knows exactly what to say to a woman. They keep the same formula. A lot of airheads, a lot of girls with high body counts that have no, only thing they're trying to do is boost. Somebody tells them, yeah, if you go on Fresh and Fit, your OnlyFans count, you'll get like, you know, 100 new subscribers. So these girls are thinking 100 times 499, I need to go, I need to get my ass to Miami. So... There's a think, lot. I don't think you know. You think a woman's gonna say no, like no fresh. A woman that's at that table. Yeah. I, I, them I, dudes, I, I, them I, dudes are cornballs. These girls, they wanna, they I wanna be down. grabbed by the I back just, of their head and told to, to, to get on the, get down and handle your business. I don't. These guys that. are not doing that. I don't think they would maneuver it like they would. They would into the yacht, they I don't think they would make. Oh yeah, yes, at the yacht, of course. Yeah, but the yacht is different. But that there was that story that. With that one girl who it was the 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 That's Walter right. Walter was the, was using Walter or something like they met on a yacht or something. It was an episode. No, the of yacht Fresh was their that, second date where she smashed. No, no, they didn't. No, nothing. No smashing happened. I'm At the yacht, about, she said no, no, I'm she talking smashed. About, no, her. this is a past thing with Walter. There was a girl. So Walter's notorious for being finessed. 
right? There was something. Oh yeah, he got finessed by a girl, but I don't remember. It had it was something a to do with it. Yeah, because the, the, the first time I, the DJ Academics was on an episode of Fresh and Fit, and he said, "Where do you guys first meet?" And he's like, uh, "On on a yacht, on a boat, or something like that." And mm. she tried it anyway, but but she was from the Sugar Daddy site that he had picked her up. She was looking for a sugar daddy, and he picked her up and made her his girlfriend, and then tried to deny it. Then they were able to prove it. Albert, yeah, and Preach. No, yeah, yeah. Albert and Preach were able to prove that that um, fresh CEO, also Walter, he got a girl, promised to give her like five thousand a month, and he made her his girlfriend. And then academics met up with them and was like, "Ain't this the girl from the thing?" He was like, "No, no, no. Put your camera down. Put your camera down." So I saw some video where the where uh, fresh CEO was like trying to block the girl. They were like walking dogs. And he tried to block the girl from academics recording the fact that um, uh, Fresh CEO still had um, ties with the girl that Albert and Preach exposed him for. Mm. Well, did you see the rant of of Myron's rant when he's screaming and like losing his mind about how great they are and how yeah you know, yo it was crazy. yeah I haven't yeah yeah lately I've been on this uh, this this these like. These YouTubers I'm looking, they're putting me my ear down to the streets. I'm getting all this crazy, uh, yeah. all this goofy stuff. This right. goofy well, Boom thinks it's, head. you know, this typical, we talking about what all black people talk about. Look at him. Uh, uh, what, did, what say you about the woman herself and the fact that she's she claims to be pregnant? What, 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 what do you say, LJ, about that? Um, what do you mean? <laughs> What's your opinion on her pregnancy? think from listening to her couple interviews I wouldn't be surprised if she's not pregnant in a little bit like it sounds like it's left you know because she knows that she's gonna be a single mom you know so but she said there's guys in the DM so listening to her speak about possibly being a single mother she sounds like you know no, I wouldn't be surprised. If it was, it, do you think if she's if she's not pregnant, you think it's some sort of like um, miscarriage, or you think that she never was pregnant? I'm thinking she insisted help upon not being pregnant anymore. She got an abortion. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. She's Would you? To her, she hasn't even told her family yet. Right. You know? She's not excited about doing that. Mm. <laughs> so. Do you think she's pregnant, uh, Ulrich? Do you think she's gonna have the baby I if she's her. pregnant? Yeah, I, I believe it. I mm. believe. I don't think she's lying about it. it seemed that you know, he confirmed that he did all the things that would lead to her being yeah. pregnant. Two weeks, three times a day. Yeah, I mean. Couldn't keep his hands off this woman. Yeah, yeah, she's probably really sweet to him. He probably doesn't get that a lot, you know. Yeah, yeah, he gets these uh, OnlyFans girls that are, are popping their gum and she don't even know like she which fork nice. to use. She seems like she would know, like, the right things to say and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it can go either way. You know, I've seen women on the Internet, you know, buy fake bellies and go through with... Uh, Acting like they're pregnant. Not, I didn't know them, but I've seen stories of right. people doing that to other people. That'd you be know. crazy. You can order pregnancy tests and sonograms and all kinds of stuff. Mm. It's a really evil world out there. Very really <laughs> manipulative, know? yeah. You can order those bellies and stages to make it look like you're actually growing. Wow. Mm. And if that is his kid, they're off to a bad start. <laughs> they are off to a bad start. But let, can I also say this? I think that this would have been a beautiful move for him to get this one pregnant. Because this is the kind of girl that's going to get the man that looks like him. That know, See, only the internet knows who Fresh CEO is in that small that small spot in, 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 um, in Miami. Miami's that big. This chick would have made him international. She would have uplifted him, and I think he's dropped the ball and not recognizing that this is a woman who's going to get you a table in some of the most exclusive spots that you will ever be able to find. That you won't be able to fresh CEO get on your own. From the way you look, 
and from just your combo-ness, his lack of eye contact, is he able to look a man in the face properly? Like me, I always say, I can't be a person's friend until I see how they act around white people. And, and that's the way it is. You can't be my friend unless I see how you act around white people. If you can give eye contact and you're just a regular guy like I am and everything is cool, then we can be friends. But if you are uncomfortable, eyes are looking down to the floor, if you are not giving off that same energy when we're around each other, we can't be friends. And I don't think Fred CEO has that ability to do that. I think he, the combo-ness will come out and she would have been the perfect person to kind of push, nudge a little bit in front of him and would have built him, built him a lot better. It would have opened up so many doors, even if what they're saying about her is true. That one video of her talking about prices and some guy was saying how he wanted to, yeah. um, he wanted to um, go on a date with her. To me, that could have been AI. That there's no proof of that. And then they have so many followers that are incels. I could see them just conjuring that up real quickly within a 48 hour period and sending it to them and say, yo, I just, I just put this out there for you. AI could easily take, she has so many videos out in one week. They could take her voice and then have that negotiation going on. And I just, I just, I just think that um, fresh CEO, if I could just, just take one second and just, just look, look, look at you and just say, um, you need to resolve this and you need to allow yourself to be gifted accept this and look at this as a gift because now you're going to get in rooms you never thought you could get in with that woman just from the way she looks because optics are a, a hell of a thing and the fact that you look the way you look you're going to even look more like up there and and i, I think you're, you're doing yourself a disservice by not squashing this Rekilling, rekilling this and even maybe doing your own version of a reality show without any help. The same way the ball father did for for the ball children that are playing um, mellow ball and these people that are playing basketball as sons. They created a whole reality show with different seasons. I think this is the perfect opportunity for you to start the reality show on solving this little issue with this woman. It will be huge huge don't miss this opportunity what say you Ulrich, on what i just said on whether or not he should start a reality show based on this i'm aspect. using this up first first off this woman as the catalyst for him to have more doors open no i don't i don't think that's that that's the case because she's only a miss china so since if she only miss china i think she only has clout there i don't know how well that travels across the world, like she can just get reservations anywhere. Because I don't know how, you know, the trend is necessary. I think he can walk in any any spot with her and say, we don't have reservations. Do you have a table for us? I don't know if she's that. She's not that. I don't know. You don't you think know. she's that hot? <laughs> I, 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 I you don't, don't know, think she's that hot? Because not based on, I, I thought you were talking about her status, not just based on her looks. Just based on looks? No, absolutely. I don't, I don't know any woman that's that ridiculously hot that you can get reservations when what? it's packed up. What? What? Are you it. joking right now? No. Oh, Rick, that's when, how you When get... you have no celebrity or no notoriety, I don't know. She has just it now. Based on, no, but what I'm talking she about. She has is, it now. Yeah, but, but I'm, all right. I'm talking about just based on her looks. I don't know anybody who could just walk in and, you know, get, you know, reservations. But I, I can imagine somebody who has notoriety that they be like, oh, this is person is the the blah 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 blah. You know, we'll have you seated right away. I can see that happen. But I, I think that woman could walk into an L.A. spot, New York spot, Chicago spot, Dubai spot, Canada spot, Belize spot, Brazil spot, and walk to any major D and have a two minute conversation with that person, and she is being seated, and with that man right there. 
And I don't know, she was Amos China, she was a contestant. I don't know what, what whatever I, she is. I don't know what the, clout, the level of her clout actually or the level of her success I actually is. With that. But I don't, so I don't even know. Say what that, that again? Is. I said probably a contestant because if she was Miss China, everyone would Because she, she keeps on saying something. Right. keep right. on like alluding to that. So with the with the first with the China with the I don't know about her being a, helping her him on that level, on the um what was your second point? My second point was um they could even he needs to like even consider producing his own reality show nah, about this pregnancy because no, she's not gonna be they, they, there's too much bad she already messed up there's too much bad blood now that it happened disagree now I, now disagree she never really said anything bad no i'm they, talking about lj knows she's watched every interview how bad has she talked about him what did you say i'm talking about with that I'm, I'm talking about amongst each other them leaking information them putting stuff out there with each other i think there's too much bad blood for them to make a business decision and what would that i don't know what that would possibly do for uh for fresh and fitch career that's already on the downhill now they're going to make a reality show out of something you did that was poor decision making based based on your branding i don't know fresh how that and would... fit is on the up dude they haven't lost any subscribers. They haven't lost any Patreons. These people are popping know, with no case, monetization, well, no YouTube ad sets. These are all just supporters. If that's the case, I would I, pay five dollars to see the series of them on YouTube. Was it exclusive? Well, I think you series. would pay for that. I don't know if their fans would. I, I, I think I mean, their fans. I think, I think, I think this will I, be a hit. But I think them, them making a reality show would would ruin any advice that they're giving. So it would that would hurt their branding in, in some way. So whether that's a hit, that's gonna take away them fresh or fit brand. They're gonna make a they get they already look at goofy for this whole situation. Now they're gonna make a reality show to see how we're gonna get their relationship. That's the goofiest thing in the world. I disagree. <laughs> they get any goofy well, I'm talking about money wise. <laughs> My, yeah, but I'm talking about their, their, their brand. Their their whole, brand is their whole brand whole brand brand suffer. Is, yeah, but their brand they, already suffered from. Did, uh, weren't they like pretty re respected in this big, this whole no, they was brand down. world? And then no, the Alvin they, they made beef more. happened. And that's how I understand the project. <clears throat> Alvin and Preach happening. Preach thing happened. And only you and I know about it. But they got to the monetize off I'll, YouTube. So one of their revenues, they already lost one of their revenue sources. So how did they be on the up? They are on the up because right, this, is, this, is who, this is this is this is the way people are. When you become, when you become persona non grata, you <laughs> then win. When you get That's banned off logic, of, man. when you, <laughs> I'm telling you, this is I've watched this. Whenever a person beefs on the internet, they get more subscribers. And whenever a person gets deplatformed, they make millions, dude. Yeah, but all these after that have, but look at it isn't the adam 22 guy isn't isn't he beef with his whole crew and isn't he, he getting less popular and then the the uh, adam 22 is making adam 21 22 adam 16 this dude is making three hundred fifty thousand a month dude but I don't. But I don't. All I know is I don't think I don't think the reality show would help fresh and fit anyway. Say before it's gonna hurt them. It, it might make money for them. Make there might be a revenue it, it stream on this because it would be a spectacle. But if they exactly. decide, to, if they decide, it would be to, a great but spectacle. But then if they if that decides, but then followed by a career shift where there there's these goofs like uh, uh, for the love of goofs and it's just uh, fresh and fit. And, uh, I was, and, and it's them two on they should just go that way they should be on what's that, what's that channel with all that cra it's a crazy channel Zeus Zeus yeah <laughs> it should be yes it should yes. be on. so if, if, if that should if be. that is their trajectory then I, then I say go for it oh, but I don't if they still want to be fresh and fit I don't think reality is just the I way think, to go I think they can still do fresh and fit keep them because there's let me just tell you this woman says that she's open to him being with other women she knows that he's going to be with other women this is not a woman who's looking for a man who's going to be only for her she's realistic this is this is an opportunity here you telling me that i got a chick that's a 10 a chinese 10 
who did spend money on her body. Anything of course. would be an opportunity for her because she doesn't have of any Of course, it's going to be the opportunity but for I her. Think this, but but I think this will work for him too. I think it will work. I think it will be I think, I a think grand that can, slam if I think he tries that to can keep lead this woman. to something, whether that's a good something or a bad something. Let me tell you. Something. But something those that, two a change are, is going to happen. If those that, two that are two years away from the Met Gala. Two years away from the Met Gala if they did it this way. All right, all right. It is just shenanigans. See, all, let me just right. say all this. In your mind, shenanigans could be looked at as crazy ideas. All the crazy ideas are the good ones. That's a fact. And I could just sit here and name some it are, for half an hour. The all the crazy the ideas. Wall. Well, spaghetti against the wall, is when it's cooked, it'll stick. So you can keep throwing spaghetti against the wall, but if you're not waiting that eight and a half minutes, Ah, see, I didn't even know the time and man. Exactly. So, so it's all lost. about time. I <laughs> would like to produce that show if I could produce that show. I would like to produce that show. That show, we would have him sitting there talking, this and that and the other, a little bit of joy. Wait, wait, did we say anything insulting to it? Because we're going to ruin that. They, 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 they're petty like that. You, you said, did you say anything insulting that would ruin your future with Fresh uh, No, I'm not thinking. I don't, I don't think that they would include me. I think no, it would be smart for them to include people who have done this before. You just, yeah, no, you no, I said I would love to produce yeah, yeah. the show, but I think that they need to put their money where their mouth is, get the, and produce the show themselves. I bet I'm talking about it. All they're, they're going to be spending the most money on is editing. He can join Love and Hip Hop Miami. <laughs> that would be that that, that I, would that be would, fine. That would be there. But I mean, that I would, would be fine. I would watch. I would watch. I would watch, I would watch that. that. Yeah, I haven't watched that in ten that. years. I, you know, I, but I didn't watch TV for ten years. But still, not ten years. But I went. Like, we saw. We saw fresh and fit situation. They need to stop like uh, warring with these people, with these YouTubers, because they they keep on losing these wars. They need to. They, but they it won't need, stop they need that to go the smut route. All that's, that, that's drama the on YouTube. Look at look at pearly things. Pearly things has been demonetized from YouTube, and she got more subscribers. Yeah, but the, drama, the winner gets the spoils. The so winner? there's one person. No, there's one Auburn person. Preach are not so winning I, 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 from I, this. What? Not I, from I, this. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about They're, that. Let me just say this. Aaron Auburn Preach are YouTube. winners already. They're winners oh, already. Man, so they're winners this is not going to make them more winners. Yeah, but this is exactly. just going to be for the small amount of people yeah, like us that be like, yeah, you so know. So they're all winners and losers. They clash head to head. They clash head to head. And there was a winner. There was a loser. And one winner started going up and one loser started going up. So these beefs are not, these beefs are, 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 uh, hurt these channels. I they know. don't hurt the channel. This is my oh point. Oh my gosh! They Who don't just, hurt the channel. <laughs> the channel grows. I'm telling you, this is. I have all the. Proof. I think. I think there's potential for a channel to go. Like, wait, say one that has no variety, but eventually that beef's gonna lose steam and all that. Then they're gonna have to jump to another beef, and then and then they yes, yes, then they're known course. as somebody who beefs. That's right, what happened right, to right. the Adam Twenty. So the beef is not gonna help them at all. It's just gonna. Th it's gonna. It's just gonna be a temporary money grab. Oh, let me just say this: if 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 that to, if it becomes to tweak, that. to tweak your argument, there could be some truth to that because it's in-house beef. Okay, I'm talking about reaching out and having outside beef has not hurt anyone. Oh, if Myron and Walter turned on each other and they move, that would be a bit. That would be that a short little be. great storm. But that, but then, then they one of them, one of the other have to stand on their own. How's that gonna work out? Well, Myron is keeping them for, split for, for, for fresh CEO. I never seen anybody yelling and screaming for their friend like that. I was like, whoa, my guy, this is like. It was crazy. I, th I think like, it was probably more behind that. He's probably screaming for anything because he knows just just the end of their credibility <laughs> as, as advice givers. I think there was a lot more emotion underneath. Those no, things. Myron is, Myron is like, too good to he's go. Like, Why do we always have to lose? Every they lose every battle they participated. <laughs> I feel bad for them. I feel bad. Like every 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 person. Like I want. I was. You know, let's 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 start a war with them and let's just give them a victory. I just say you got it. Yeah. I feel bad for her. I'm rooting for the for for Daisy and um, Fresh CEO. I'm rooting for the two of them. I don't think I don't. Think I'm rooting for the child. Pregnant. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm rooting for the child. I hope he like stays in the kid. He's in the kid's life. Yeah, that's the the, the biggest thing. <laughs> oh, that, is that even real? Is that rumors? She said she would. She's gonna name the baby Alba now because of Alba <laughs> Preach. Come on. That's 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 definitely. Better. 
No, that, that's yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. If, if that's the case, then he shouldn't be in that son child's life. That's, there's no there's no reason to be in that child's life because right. that's too left. That's the next level of disrespect. That's oh, that's the God. kind of stuff. No, that's the kind of stuff. That's too much, man. Can that's I, his first I, son, and you named him after his arch enemy. <laughs> yo, that's, yo, that is fight. No, yeah, that is that, that's such that's 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 erep. What's it called? That's, epar. That's epar. That's 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 emotional torment. Like anyway, but all right. Hey, check <laughs> out the comments for us. Tell us what's going on, man. No, that is that that is yo. If she did do that, that's evil. That's like that's some that's the stuff you can't start condoning. Like you know, murder for her, man. OJ. It, that, uh, that that's OJ, you know, OJ. That's OJ. O, that, uh. <laughs> Steve Ryder says, I would like to see how you act around people that's not like you or myself. Who's he referring to? You have one of the most unique ideas I've ever seen to make money with your camper trailer. You should start a separate channel just for that. What are you talking that's about? And Brooklyn <laughs> Bat All Day says, Yo, what's up with the police talk? <laughs> yeah, we got to stay on topic, y'all. This is premium black news. Okay, this is not the cannabis. This is premium black news. We're in New York City where a lot happens. A lot goes on in this town. You need four grand to be here for a month. <laughs> Minimum. That's for poor people. Poor people need $4,000 a month to live in this damn city. That's poor people. So let's... uh. uh, uh let I, I I digress. You got to do what you got to do in this town. So um, the eclipse happened. It did the eclipse happened here in New York State, Northern New York State? I drove with this beautiful woman here and my children. Oh, we drove. I didn't. You know, we drove. Um. 300 miles, 350 miles, almost 400. Well, I'll say 300, 350, 360 miles to get to a place that's called Glass River. That's G-L-A-S-S, -S, Glass River. And we drove to Glass River. And if you looked on the, on, on the maps of New York State and Glass River, you'll see a camper. There was this... 1950 styles camper that was parked right along Glass River and this road that we were on was so quaint that I counted four cars in three hours that went by so on a map it might look like uh, some sort of like route or highway where Glass River is and you'll see that's where we saw the sun and this object that they're calling the moon go in front of the sun and create this uh, totality. We were under the totality for four minutes. We had, we were alone with the kids. We pulled out the cooker. We made burgers. What else did we make? Popcorn. Popcorn. I took the, <laughs> I took a big walk and I made fresh popcorn and we were eating popcorn looking at the eclipse from start to finish. It takes 45 minutes for it to be, once it starts to become um, in totality, and then it only takes like 15 minutes for it to go away, which I always found interesting. And then there's this 70 mile, um, 70 miles of darkness that you're in, I and mean, you can see off the edges where the sun is still shining. So most people just see the sun shining, whereas we were covered in darkness. And as we're covered in darkness for this four minutes, all around the sun, there's these flames that are as long as Manhattan shooting from all around it. So just imagine just all around the sun, just these green flames just shooting as far as you can see. And then it becomes some sort of optical illusion where the sun and this object they're calling the moon is in front of each other and now you have flames flying all around it and then out of nowhere the sun starts to do this and then it goes back and then that object goes away it's very intense very beautiful 
I would recommend any opportunity you get to tell your boss, I'm going to go see the eclipse or your loved ones, come on, let's get in the car, let's go. You should do that. I invited this man here. He declined because in his mind to go somewhere for driving three, six hours each way for four minutes might not be worth his time because he learned so much about Adam 22 and <laughs> fresh and fit and what was going on in the world. And I don't resent him for that because I understand. It's kind of strange. But this is our second time. We did it in 2017 in Nebraska. Now we did it in 2024. And then we will be doing it again in um, Australia in 2028, 20, I think it is. I can't remember at the moment. I forget. So what say you, LJ? Wait, wait. First, what say you about not coming and us talking? We talked about it for like 10 minutes before we started the live. Okay. Oh, what, 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 do, what, do say, what do I have to say? What do I have to say? What do you think coming? about what we say? No, well, but just about this, the uh, just the. Oh, I never itself. care about the eclipses. I ne that, 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 I never even. I'm, I don't think I've ever sat and watched an eclipse. I could have swore. I, I don't know. My memories get foggy with this, but I could have swore some girlfriend at some point. I I did something at some park, but not not that I have any like vivid memory of. Right, That's how right. little eclipses I, I can. I, like I probably I wouldn't go to a park to see the eclipse and least will drive six hours to freaking New Hampshire. Right. I was just it's absurd. Right. But, but you know, but yeah, that's absurd. Absurd. <laughs> no, that's absurd. People for travel from all over the no, world no, to no, see this. No, but that's this absurd. Is absurd. No, that's absurd for me. In no, I words, know that. That's for all. I right, know you're speaking for yourself. So yeah, exactly. But that's my point. So that that's how it would be like you know ridiculous. <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't work in my uh, for my head. Right. Well, I, I, I say things like this to people. Well, let me ask LJ, what do you think about the experience? Well, I love, you know, car rides with you and the family. So it was awesomely amazing for me. But, you know, I know that a lot of people are like Ulrich and don't want to ride. Baby, please car. do not talk for Ulrich. He already <laughs> said how to feel. Only talk, you got, you got yeah, no, only talk for family. yourself. Only talk for yourself. You got a family trip. Don't be like, I like it, but that I understand. But get, get. When I share stories about our past of traveling across the country, right. that's, you know, the average person is like, I could never do anything like that. So right. I'm actually used to that response, you yeah. know? Of course. Most people don't want to be in a car for three weeks. Uh, like, thank you for not judging me, OJ. Yeah, I'm not yeah. judging you. I'm, oh, I, this is expected. That's, uh, that's judging. That's, that's, Dude, that's, that's, that's when, I, judging. when I invited you to come, and I told you, take a day, think about it. Don't give me an answer right now. And I was encouraging you, listen, you can come. We got, we'll take the excursion. I got the big truck. It's all gassed up, ready to go. I never for one second thought you were going to say yes. Well, I I'm not judging you. Because I wanted you to, you had a, I gave you an opportunity to say yes. And if you were to say yes, it would have been great. Because, go ahead, continue, LJ. <laughs> um, I enjoy, I, I love the experience, you know, it was great being in the path of totality mm -hmm. and our children appreciate it once, you know, once like they understood it once it was over. You know, right. they're like, whoa. They asked so many questions. What's so, going on? Why is it so black? Oh, right, my God. Right, I didn't yeah. prepare them for it because we've been through this already. You, you don't remember? Well, we'll do it again. I'm not going to just go through the whole spiel that the moon is going in front of the thing and it's casting a shadow. I'm not going through none of that. You tell me what you think this is. And my kids were blown. My son talked about it for three days. He yeah, says the greatest see. thing that's ever happened to him. See, that, no, that's cool. They got something out of it. Hold on. Who? Brooklyn Bat all day, who said he's the Park Slope regulator. He said he thinks the eclipse was a distraction for what's really going on, and the earthquake as well. All connected. The eclipse and the earthquake are distractions from what's really going on. No, yeah. sir. What's really going on is you take off those glasses they told you that were going to make you blind, and you look up. And then it'll change your life. Because let me tell you something. I'm being nice here. I think that if Ulrich would have went with us to see the eclipse, Ulrich would have said what what did this guy say? Um in in, in, in Pulp Fiction. Uh, uh Samuel Jackson, he tells 
uh, uh, um, dance fever guy. About the golden, John Travolta. John Travolta. About the thing in the golden suitcase. No, yeah, the golden the, suitcase. That movie, the, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah. What did they had that experience where the yeah. guy shoots at them and oh, none yeah, of the divine, bullets hit yeah, them, yeah. and he's like, "I'm gonna now walk the earth." And he was like, well, you're going to be a bum. You can't just walk off. He says, no, I had, let me just tell you something. If you take off the glasses, when you look up at that eclipse and the flames shoot around, I think more people will walk away the way this guy in Pulp Fiction said he's going to now walk the earth because he had that moment. That is what I think would happen from, from coast to coast. You're going to have a group of people that thought that, they figured life out and they understood life. But when you see that eclipse, you realize just how much you don't know so you, about you, what's going on. So you're guilty me for yeah. not going. I'm not guilty you. You're a romantic. I am romantic. I'm a man. Man or romantic. Women are not the romantic ones. You know, women buy you something, they're looking on you and you say, what's your reaction? What's this about? You really liked it? I'm like, Jesus, calm down. I took you from that supermarket you were working in and put you in this house and gave you kids in a car. We're romantic. Men are romantic. We're the romantic ones. Women, it's a joke. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me not go there. But uh, what else we got? Anybody say anything else? Mm. It's interesting that people will romanticize passion about possibly something that will change your life questioning everything from it's like you think you woke come with me to see the eclipse your ass gonna get woke you're gonna be like what the hell have they else have they lied to me about what else have they lied to me about I thought the moon was going in front of the sun and I had to wear these glasses so that it protects my eyes from going blind. I happened to take off the glasses and I look up and now I'm like, fuck you, rent. Fuck you, job. I'm moving on. I think that would be a, a huge, just imagine a massive group of people just be like, you know what? I'm gonna take out the profanity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's just an earthly function. It's like farty. It's like farty? Well, you gotta, farty, you gotta farty. open your mind. A lot of people are not ready to open their minds. A lot of people are not ready to, to change. You, you think if a person tells you, listen, listen to me, take this car ride with me. And after you take this car ride with me, it's possible that you might not look at life or anything the same. And you will start to question things and possibly all your friends that think you're kind of stupid and crazy. And you're, you, 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 you might end up wishing you never came. Come on, let's go. Nobody's going to want to do that. Who's going to sign up for that? Who's going to sign up for that? Who's going to say, I'm willing to go see something that possibly will have me questioning everything I've ever been told? I don't know if that eclipse will do that for me, man. But yeah, I'm sure it was a nice experience, and it's very fun to hang oh. out with you, 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 you and the kids. And it was a, like it was, it was a brilliant experience. I'm glad I got to do it twice in these 50 years that I've been on this earth, twice. And I got, I'm glad I got to do it with the love of my life, and I'm glad I got to do it with my children. And I will be doing it again in Australia. And the thing is, I. Let's chase it. I'm eclipse chasing. <laughs> and the thing is, this eclipse will have you just, but let me say this, because this is my second time, so I'm, I have a jump start on everyone. But after the first eclipse, I was very quiet for days and days and days while traveling through Nebraska and up to the um, South Dakota and to the to the to what's that called the the Badlands and we went Black past the bad the Black Hills and I started to really think and then I remember pulling the car over one night and we had the big trailer the 33 foot trailer with the excursion I pulled it over into a field and now I'm looking up at the Milky Way and I'm looking up at the Milky Way somewhere in Nevada somewhere and I started to just say what did I see because I was on a way I knew that they told me the moon was in front of the sun I knew every single thing they told me 
but I knew that I saw something that they didn't tell me. And it took a long time for me to figure it out. And me going to see it for the second time just reaffirms a lot of the thoughts that I had from when I first saw it and was very confused for quite some time about it. And it's 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 um, definitely something going in front of the sun. I, <laughs> well, I I would I would argue it's something that's dormant that's there. Like if let's say um, this is why it's so easy to track because it's possible that in this in this in this reality that we're in, this reality that has something for everyone, there's this idea that I've been forming in my head for many many years, and that is well since 2017 when I first saw it is that this is possibly a dormant moon or a dormant sun. And there's possibly many dormant moons and sun that are in the skies that we can't see any longer. And we can't see them only until they go in front of the sun. And that happens every couple of years because the sun and the earth, the way it spins, it rotates. However, whatever's going on up there, there's these dormant moons and when i say dormant i'm talking about completely flat circles not actual round circular moons that have the rocks and all that kind of stuff and that's that's dormant no 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 i'm talking about inside of whatever we're in there i don't be, i don't think there's an outside i don't think the billion mile away sun is bouncing off of the 240 mile away moon i'm saying that whatever this is this moon and this is the sun are sliding up against each other and the way it slides so tightly up against the sun that's what bursts that flame all around it and that flame all around it is not happening from one being a billion miles away and one being 200 miles away and then we see the shadow and then it kind of proves that this moon is 70 miles because it's only a 70 mile shadow and if you study shadows, you'll learn that, you know, this is a seven, the, the moon, whatever that, whatever that is, that dormant sun or moon that it slides against each other, it, um, it might be 30 or 40 or hundreds of them up there throughout time. Moons die out. You know, you have that, that, that blood moon that happens and all these kind of things, possibly they're constantly being replaced or rejuvenated. Maybe this sun is powering up an old moon or maybe this is the new moon maybe this is the new moon that we're going to see for now for the next you know four five six seven years and it will continue to do that i like to think outside the box this might seem ludicrous crazy but i'm not the guy who punches the clock and tries to make someone else's dreams come true that's not what i'm doing i'm trying to live this life here in this meat suit and try to expand my mind on what is truly out there and and and, and i say possibilities well steve ladner says space in between your ears if you believe what nasa has to say and <laughs> brooklyn bat all day says you know what's amazing surviving life every day and interacting with human beings right. that's what's amazing what the earth is doing what they're doing with antenna up and what antenna up and all is annoying yeah you're talking about harp and all that kind of stuff the controlling of the weather and all the distractions that are put on us earthquakes and all that were you here Ulrich for the earthquake yeah how did it feel? Um, it was kind of, it was fine. It wasn't really that dramatic. I remember people's faces looked kind of crazy. People's faces looked a little crazy. Yeah. They were like, what's going on? Do you remember where you were when this happened? It was 10 a.m., I believe. <laughs> yeah, <man. coughs> there was another one at 6 p.m. I didn't feel yeah. that one. Yeah, so <laughs> the 6 p.m., yeah, I was at the library studying for something. Okay, so yeah. you felt it. You felt the 6 p.m. and the 10 a.m.? Fancy. Did you feel that the 10 a.m. in the morning was the only one I felt here in New York? Yeah. 
and I was up in Yonkers over there at the um, where we where we where we've been staying. Yeah. And let me tell you, LJ is standing right in front of me. I yell out while it's going on. It's an earthquake, y'all! It's an earthquake! Oh my God! It's an earthquake! And I was so excited to feel that rumble <laughs> under my feet. I mean, it was just rumbling sound and it just swayed and I looked up at the chandelier oh, and the chandelier didn't even move it just swayed a little bit like once it stopped it just swayed a little bit but the rumbling under my feet was like a freight train but only a freight train that lasted like five seconds tops four seconds it wasn't like a freight train that can last a whole minute you know two minutes depending on you know it's one of those trains with a hundred cars but I was elated by that. I was like, wow. I mean, I, I felt this sense of like, wow, this is amazing. We, and, and Ulrich said, whatever. <laughs> I was a little uh, taken back by it. Like, is this the one? <laughs> and how did you feel about the way I was responding to it? You enjoyed it. <laughs> I loved it. It just made me feel like the earth is real. Yeah, he was ready for the building to move. <laughs> now, well, I don't recall ever feeling an earthquake before, so. Yeah, that was my first time feeling an earthquake as well. Yeah. You wanted to slide down the hill. Yeah, I was telling my kids. <laughs> I was like, the Marriott is going to slide down the hill. Yeah, with excitement. <laughs> I love, they're like, Daddy, don't say that. We're going to die. I said, someone has to live. Come on. Why can't it be us? That's when I taught my children about the last man standing and the theory behind the last man standing. That someone has to tell the story. I'm gonna, I don't think, we, if we slide down the hill, we'll be all right. You know? Wow. We'll be the black people on the news. I was there, I saw all of it, I saw everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rick, you're shutting down on me. What's going on? I'm shutting down? Yeah, I'm man, this this earthquake you. thing got you thinking about something. What's on your mind, man? The, the earthquake thing got me thinking something. I know you just kind of transition, started talking about the earthquake. Okay, after okay. After the thing. eclipse, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I'm all yeah, over so the place. How I started feeling about the Friday earthquake. Night. Yeah, it's, it's Friday here. night. I'm not doing anything. Go out. <laughs> Gonna paint the town. Uh, Anyone else say anything else? Do we have anything else? Abraham to say? said OJ died, and they still mad. Who's they? Day is... Don't answer for him. They're not going to say who they is. I earlier was saying something about they, and and they is the power structure. The power structure, whoever the power structure is, and 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 its minions, and and, and its minions could be anybody. It could be a, a, a it could be a traffic, it could be a traffic cop as one of the minions. He's so compartmentalized, he has no idea what he's involved in. So who's they? Most days are just regular people going to work, punching in the clock. Yeah, remember they they cloned Tyrone? Those people were employees, they were punching in the clock. Everybody got to punch a clock. When you stop punching in the clock, that's when you start asking questions. So, did I send you anything this week, Ulrich? I'm not sure, did you? I don't remember. It's been a long week, man. I was driving so many days to see an eclipse. After 9 o'clock. <laughs> okay, and we got to run. LJ just said we got to run. We got we to get our children. We have to get these. We have to get the, we have to get the youngins. Those sweet angels. Those sweet angels who I almost, you know, I almost had to pop my son today, boy. Yo, know, he goes like this. Ma, I thought you were going to wake me up for breakfast. Because um, the, the Marriott that we stay in, and they serve breakfast in the morning. Waffles, eggs, and all that kind of stuff, you know? All that U.S. foods, those big U.S. food trucks. And Mom said, I did try to wake you up, son. You wouldn't get up. You said you didn't want to go. He was just like, that's cap. <laughs> and then I had to have a whole moment with myself. Like he's 13 years old. I need to treat him. I need to teach him the best way to talk to his parents. Do I sock him or do I just take a deep breath and say, son, are you calling your mother a liar? And he was like, no. He recanted. And then later on, we waited a couple hours and he said, mom, I just want to tell you I'm sorry. And I'll never say that again. 
So I didn't have to beat his ass. <laughs> well, now now the fear of getting his, his butt beat now make make him stop, even when he has the impulsive behavior. Right. And he kind of waits and says. Back day, like your sunglasses. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm. He always wear them at nighttime too, even <laughs> if the camera was off. Those glasses would still be on. <laughs> I'm a subtle jab. <laughs> no. no yeah. Well, I do change them. I don't always have. I mean, you know, but you are a nighttime sunglass wearer. Yeah. You yeah, know, most of my most guys. people take yeah, sunglasses like these are, off. These are my know? Cartiers. These are my. <laughs> these, these are from when I'm on the beach. Chef, you wear them all day. Yeah. I can wear shades all day. It's because I don't like the glare. I don't like the glare from out there in the streets. You just fly like that. Yeah, look, and there's another pig. See, I keep a lot of, a lot of glasses. Unfortunately, I did have six pair of glasses stolen from me recently. Mm. But we're not gonna get into that. That's a story for another day. Oh, here it goes. Oh. So now, I'm gonna wear these. And what's cool about these? These are called Chrome Hearts. They're worth more when you walk out the door with them. Mm -hmm. Or I can wear these. Ping bong. You already know. <laughs> so yeah, I keep an assortment of shades. And in my storage unit, I have... Steve Ladder said you are appreciated. You are appreciated, Steve Ladder. <laughs> Anybody know that this is a value for value show? What does a value for value show mean, Ulrich? Do you know what that means? It means uh, people can, for how much value was given to them, people can contribute right. based on that. I, I I wonder if Boom, who didn't want us talking about what all black people were talking about, I wonder if he, me going um, off on this whole uh, um, uh, experience and how you might not never want to punch a clock in again, I wonder if this guy Boom got any value out of this and says to himself, I'm going to donate because he did something so different than what everyone else is doing. He talked about wondering what the hell are we in? When are we? Where are we? And how long have we been here? You are appreciated, Boom. It's dollar sign, Elvis Rosenberg. Express yourself. Make a face. <laughs> Ooh, look at LJ. That looks cool. That looks cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll make this the... This the uh, yeah, that does look really cool. Looks, in real, looks like we're a cartoon. <laughs> Yeah, Do that it? again. Why not? Well, yeah, gonna... put your hand on the on the chair no, like that. You had no, no, perfect. The way you just no, had it. <laughs> you just went like that on the chair. No, no, no. Put it down right. <laughs> anyway, okay, you fucked it up. No, that would fuck it up. <laughs> I don't even know what I did. I was channeling Kendra. Yeah, it was natural. That was, that was not natural. Was natural. <laughs> That's a good love. Taking pictures for the, what is that called? For the Insta. No, well, they want you to no. capture the picture for the thing. It's too late. I, got, oh. I have to still shot it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What is I'll that pause called, it. though? I forget what that is. Oh, that's the mewing. Thumbnail. That's mewing. <laughs> for the thumbnail. Yeah, the thumbnail. right. Yeah. All right, love. I'm Big Officer Chef Rosenberg. <laughs> I'm Ulrich. LJ. <laughs> Sorry. I love you.